Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here so late? Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still, a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. So humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them, but with my bad leg and all, you know what? I'd get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call.
Pigeon alert. Hey, Jeff. Congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the pit's construction site in Midtown. Life would kill me if I ditched a ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Hey, Howard, I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex, might have just left a stain on my suit. Claire, the guy's a little devil, but he's a charmer. Give him a pat on the head and point him towards me. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Pigeon. Come on. He's a fast one. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason. Even Norman pulling our plug. I really hope this works out. work is too important to go unfinished. Yeah, gotta get him. Okay. Oh, come back, little birdie!
Rosa just flew home to join her brothers and sisters. Happy to help. You know these little guys pretty well, huh? Getting there. Sandra always knew him best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my, my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. me doing this. It's all over the news. Another battle between Spider-Man and these demon-masked gunmen threatening the lives of New Yorkers. I understand our next caller lives in the area. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, um, the thing is, it all happened in a shipyard that's been closed for years. There weren't any innocent people in danger. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism career. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fisk. He's been using it to smuggle guns, grenades, military-grade ordnance. Oh, that explains a lot. Ah, the truth bomb strikes. But wait, here's a 50-megaton payload of fat. While Spider-Man tried to grab the glory for himself, chasing one truck, another vehicle got away with an arsenal of deadly, illegal weapons. This, all his faults, would never have let them be used in this city. These <laughs> demons, either they're some kind of fanatical cult, or they just Oops, don't care. Sorry. Anybody feel like they're in danger now? The way you jumped through that window. Wow. Just Are you really wow. him? Wow. I better be more careful with my adoring public. Thanks. I'm gonna tell everybody you're for real, man.
Excuse me. Over here. Sorry, I'm usually web swinging. Pigeon target acquired. It's getting away. Pigeon knows the city better than I do. There's a pigeon. Come on. He's a fast one. Something's going down at this construction site. Gotta remember to check it out.
Spider Man, you're a prince. You just found Vanessa in the lost. <laughs> I love these names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Cancer, you know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moving. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Keep looking, will you? Finding the rest of these birds would really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. Ha! A pigeon! Oh, come back, little birdie! Wonder if pigeons eat spiders. Pigeons. Oh, come back, little birdie. Okay. There's a pigeon. Don't fly away, please. Hey, slow down. Man, I wish I spoke pigeon. Okay. Fly away, please!
part of it. I can't believe it. Whole family's reunited. No sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Darren says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. I don't know what that is. Well, no one does. That's the best part. Just take a picture of the code on the wall and it starts. Easy peasy. It's to help the needy. Well, in that case... Got it. S.M. You accepted the challenge. Welcome to my stream. BT Dubs, now that you're on board, the views are racking up like crazy. Here's how it works. The matrix barcode you snapped is sending you the GPS coordinates of another matrix barcode in the area. Um, this is starting to sound time consuming. Sorry, but people need my help. Ooh, funny you should say that, because this is to help the needy. One in particular. The final matrix barcode will give you the location of a, wait for it, <gasps> kidnapping victim. What? I know. <laughs> Talk about raising the stakes. Oh, isn't she telegenic? Trapped? Helpless? Will she starve? Suffocate? No time to lose! The internet is watching! Ta-ta! This got dark fast. She's nuts. But I have to play along. There's the next Matrix barcode. This one isn't going to be so simple. Get your face already, you friggin' vigilante! Guys, guess you'll have to go back to the cinnamon challenge. Sorry about that, Spidey. I can't help it if my fans get personally invested. They're passionate. <laughs> hashtag blessed. Did you just say hashtag out loud? That's honestly almost as bad as the kidnapping. Snapping that code should have sent you the GPS to the next location. You better hurry. <laughs> Our friend's all alone and, oh, so sad.
There's the other code. Split across two buildings. This'll take finesse. Address isn't far from here. I need to hurry. Cameras everywhere. This is it. Can you hear me? Hold on, I'm gonna rip the door down! Oh my god, Spider-Man! I can't thank you enough! For the millions of clicks I just got! Wow! Screwball! Ha! <laughs> I know, right? Ah, oh, you should see the look on your creepy moving eyehole thingies. Oh, look! More of my followers! Screwball! LDR. I don't even sleep down there. Then tell them to stop. Spider-based hero? I'm really starting to hate the web. Thank you. 
Now, some people falsely say I make up stories about Spider-Man. And this will not help my case because it sounds outlandish, but I have personally seen listener-recorded video of Spider-Man snatching pigeons. Pigeon napping! Why? What possible purpose could there be for such aberrant behavior? I've thought about it long and hard, and I think I've figured it out. He's eating them. We've always assumed Spider-Man is a man with the attributes of a spider. But what if it's the reverse? What if somehow a spider gained the powers of a man? And he's stalking his prey. Somewhere there's a giant web with these poor pigeons stuck in it, waiting to be devoured. And will it stop at pigeons? Will we be next? I promise you this. I will not rest until I have the answers. Bye-bye.